Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarpin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to replace the AOSP recovery with the PWRP recovery. So with AOSP recovery, it could mean the pixel experience recovery, CR droid recovery, lineage OS recovery, all this recovery comes under the name tag of AOSP recovery. So we'll show you how to replace that recovery with the PWRP recovery. But why is there a need to do this task? Well, for starters, you don't have the option to flash any zip file via the AOSP recovery. At the very most, you could just do an ADB site load and that to a few files only. For example, you might be able to do the ADB site load from Magisk and a few other mods, but that's just about it. Whereas in case of AWRP, you could flash any zip and any IMG file using that recovery. Moreover, in some AOSP recovery, they don't even support the option to flash the Magisk zip file. For example, the current AOSP recovery that I'm using, let me show you. So currently, let my phone is booted to the AOSP recovery and now if I try to do a side load of the Magisk zip file, let me show you the Magisk zip file is present here. So if I try to root this ROM via the Magisk zip file, let me show you if I type in ADB devices and sorry, if I type in ADB side load and let me boot my phone to the side load mode first. So if I go to the ADB side load and currently as you could see my phone is in the side load mode. If I type in ADB devices, you could, you could see that it's in the side load mode. But if I try to side load the Magisk, it will fail. So let me show you adb side load magisk.zip and hit enter. So as you could see, the process has now started, but I'm getting an error message. So this OSP recovery is not even able to side load the magisk zip file. So if you want to root any such ROM, you will have to extract the ROM payload.bin file, get the boot IMG file, pass the boot IMG file via magisk, then boot your phone using it, and then use the magisk direct install. That requires quite a lot of step. So you could Either take a shorter approach and simply flash the TWRP recovery and then flash the magic zip file using that and you stand rooted. Likewise, you could flash any zip or IMG file using the TWRP recovery as opposed to the AOSP recovery, which only supports a few handful of files. So with that said, let me now show you how to replace the AOSP recovery using the with the TWRP recovery. So let me first boot my phone to the OS. The steps are applicable across all the AOSP recovery and for all the phones that supports the TWRP recovery. So with that in mind, please take a backup of all the data on your phone. The process will not wipe off any data, but just to be on the safer side, please take a backup and once that is done, let's get started. First and foremost, you have to install the Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB command. So download it from the link given in my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. I have done the extraction in eDrive as you could see. You could extract them onto your PC anywhere you want. Next up, you have to enable USB debugging. USB debugging is also required to execute ADB command. So let's now enable debugging. For that, go to the settings menu, then go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. This will enable developer option. Now go to system, then go to developer option and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. Tap on OK. Likewise, you might get an RSA key fingerprint prompt. So tap on allow on that as well. And with this, debugging is now enabled. So let's now verify the debugging connection. So type in ADB devices and hit enter and make sure you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official USB cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure you are getting the serial ID. Once you are getting an ID, your next course of action is to grab hold of the PWRP recovery. Well, regarding the unlocking of the bootloader, that might already be the case since you are on a custom ROM. Your bootloader will be already unlocked, so we could skip this step. So now you have to download the recovery. You could download it from the official website or from the unofficial trusted source such as the XDA developers. So make sure to download the IMG file and then place the recovery IMG file inside the platform tool folder as you could see. So for the ease of convenience, let's now rename the file to something shorter. So I am renaming it to PWRP and the complete name becomes twrp.img. So make sure that the file has been renamed to twrp and is there inside the platform to folder. Once that is well and good, we will now do a temporary boot our phone to this twrp recovery. For that, you have to first boot your phone to the fastboot mode. For booting to fastboot mode, you have to launch CMD window inside platform to folder and type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter. You could also use the hardware key combination but that's not universal across all the phone or you could also enable advanced reboot if your phone or rather if the custom ROM support that. 
On the other hand, the Adobe Reboot Boot is supported across all the custom ROMs and across all the phones. So just execute this command, and as you could see, our phone is now in the fast boot mode. Depending upon the phone that we are using, this screen might be different. That's not a, a cause of concern. Now just type in fast boot devices and hit enter, and make sure you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting this ID, then you will have to install fast boot drivers. I have made a guide and a video on the same. You could refer to my guide or the video and make sure to install those fast boot drivers. Once you have installed these fast boot drivers, use the Windows X shortcut key and select device manager. Then from here, you have to expand the Android phone section and make sure your phone is being shown as Android bootloader interface. So as you could see over here. So this plus the serial ID signifies that your phone is now in the fast boot mode. So next up, we will now temporarily boot our phone to the TWRP recovery. So let's just do that. So type in fast boot, boot twrp.img and hit enter. Our phone will now boot to twrp and it's just for the one time usage. So if you want to use the twrp for one time usage, you should only use the fast boot boot command, then flash the required dependency and simply do a reboot to the OS. So now if I flash any file onto my phone and then if I go to reboot and select recovery, upon the next reboot, twrp will be gone and it will be replaced with the AOSP recovery. So if you are just looking to for a one time usage, you could just use the fast boot boot command, go to install to flash the file and once the flashing is done, simply go to reboot and select system. Your phone will now reboot to the OS and from the next time onwards, you will be back with the custom recovery, the AOSP recovery and TWRP will be replaced. On the other hand, if you want to install TWRP recovery for permanent usage, on the, in other words, if you want to permanently flash TWRP, then the process varies depending on your phone. But the generic steps are near or similar. So in most cases, you have to go to advance, then select either the install recovery RAM disk and then choose the TWRP IMG file to flash it. So in that case, you have to transfer the IMG file onto your phone. So copy the TWRP IMG file and transfer the file onto your phone. And then you could simply paste the file here. If your phone is not visible over here on your PC, then go to mount, check mark the data partition and make sure to tap on enable MTP. Once that is done, you should now go to advanced and select just a minute and then select install recovery RAM disk and select the IMG file and it will be flashed. Apart from that, the, a much shorter approach which is supported by some phones is to go to flash current TWRP and perform a right swipe to confirm. And with this, TWRP will be now be permanently flashed onto our phone and it will now replace the AOSP recovery. So let me show you that as well. So the transfer will, the flashing will take a few seconds. And as you could see, the flashing is now just about to get complete. It's now backing up the boot partition. And with this, the flashing is just about to get over within a few seconds. So the flashing is now complete. And as soon as you have done the flash, please do not, do not flash any other mod. Rather go back, again go back, then go to reboot and select recovery. So our phone should now reboot to the TWRP recovery. And if that happens, then it signifies that TWRP has been permanently flashed onto our phone. So as you can see, our phone is now booting to the TWRP recovery. And with this, we have got the recovery permanently installed onto our phone. So let's now test out this recovery. So for testing purpose, let's just flash the Magis file. So as you can see, I already have the APK file. So regarding the Magis, you could directly flash the APK file using TWRP recovery. You don't have to convert it to zip format. So let's just select the APK file and perform a right swap to flash it. The flashing is now started as you could see, it's now flashing the file. And as of now, the matches will be flashed in the back end. In the front end, we still need to install the APK file. So we will do that as well. In the meantime, I just want to show you that the recovery is working quite well and good. And you could easily flash any file as you want. And once the flashing is complete, I'll boot to the OS as well. So just tap on reboot and select system. And with this, our phone should now boot to the OS. And the recovery has been flashed successfully. And you, if you want, you may now close the video here itself or let's now move ahead and show you the process to root the phone as well. I have just used the magic file for the example purpose. You may use any zip or IMG file you want. I have just used here magic just to show you the flashing process via recovery and show that the recovery is actually working well and good. You could use any file of your choice. But since we have flashed magic, let's now proceed ahead and complete the steps. So let me now flash the Magis APK file. So as you could see, we have flashed the Magis file. It has been installed in the backend, but in the frontend, we don't have the app as well. 
it's just the shell version we don't have the complete app so transfer the apk file onto your phone and let's now install the apk file so select the magic apk enable the toggle next to allow from the source and then tap on update with this the magic will be updated to the latest build and it will only take a few seconds once that is done you should now see the magic app here to so launch it and then tap on ok and then select direct install recommended and tap on let's go with this the magic flashing will now get complete in a few seconds and we have obtained root as well so let me just show you the process as well so the flashing is currently going on and it will take a few more seconds around 10 seconds to be precise and then we will reboot our phone to the os and so as you could see we have got the reboot option so tap on reboot and so as i am saying this is not the part of my original guide since i flashed the magic file i am showing you how to root but my major intention was to show you how to replace the AOSP recovery with the AWRP recovery. For the sake of re reference, I use the magic file to flash. You could now end the guide if you want over here itself. But I am doing the entire process just to show you the process of rooting as well because I flashed the magic file. And so let me now show you the root status as well. For checking the root status, I will be using the root checker app. You could install the app from Play Store. So let me transfer the app onto my phone as well. So with this, let's now launch the Magisk app. And as you could see, we have obtained root and we have got the latest version 26.1. Let me now show you the status as well. So it will only take a few seconds. So if your phone is not visible on your PC, so expand the notification section. Select charging this device and choose file transfer. So our phone should now be visible. So let me quickly transfer the root checker app. And I'll show you the status as well. So with this, we have got the file. Let's now install the app. You can install the app directly from Play Store as well. So let's install the Road Checker app and now I type on open. And let me skip the initial setup process. And if I now type on verify root, as you can see I've got the magic prompt. If I tap on grant, so we have obtained root. So this signifies that the PWRP recovery was able to flash the zip file in one go. So if I didn't flash the PWRP recovery, I have shown you that the AOSP recovery was not able to sideload the magic zip file. So I had to then extract the boot IMG file from the payload bin file, pass the boot IMG file via matches, boot my phone using that and then use the direct install. But since now I flashed the PWRP recovery, I could simply flash the matches APK or zip file and obtain root in a few seconds. So that was one of the most major advantages of this recovery. Apart from that, you could flash any zip or IMG file to obtain the desired mod. So this is the major benefit of this recovery. So before rounding off, let me just show you the process. If I now reboot to recovery, just let me show you and hit enter. My phone will now reboot to the TWRP recovery and it's now permanent. If you want to replace the TWRP or remove that and get back the AOSP recovery, then your only course of action is to reflash the entire custom ROM. Only then the TWRP recovery will be replaced by the, the AOSP recovery. So, anyways, as you could see that we have got the TWRP recovery and it's now permanently flashed onto our phone. So, as I was saying, to replace the WRP with the AOSP recovery, you should once again flash the entire custom ROM. Don't simply flash the vendor boot or the recovery IMG file. It might cause a few issues. Rather take a backup and flash the entire custom ROM once again. And once you flash the entire custom ROM, you will then get the AOSP recovery as well. So guys, on that note, I round up this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.